Hey, this is Jen from Jen Kiaba Photography, and this is part two in a series on using textures to enhance your portrait and fine art photography. Now, if you missed part one, don't worry, I got you covered. The link should be below this video. And if you'd like to get stuff like this sent directly to your inbox, feel free to hop on my newsletter list. I'll have the link for you at the end of the video. But for now, sit back and enjoy. All right. So now we've got some interesting stuff going on here on the water and in the, the edges there. But the thing is, is that when you're doing a portrait, let's say if you were doing um, a beauty portrait that you wanted to add some texture to or a wedding portrait, you might not wanna have that texture on the skin. If you look up close, let's take a look at like 50% you can see some of the scratches that are getting in there on the skin. And honestly, for this image, it really doesn't bother me so much, but some of the textures that I use, it would bother me. They get kind of speckled and it's just not an attractive quality to have. So what I'm gonna do is show you a couple of different ways that you can change it so that the texture is not applied to the skin or any other area that you don't wanna have affected by the texture. So I'm just going to zoom out here. What you can do, the, the first way that you can do this, and it's actually probably not the way that I would recommend at the end of the day, but one way you can do it is to go down here and apply a layer mask. And basically what that does is anything in white on this layer mask is visible. So again, with layers, anything on top is affecting something on the bottom. But if we go over here to our brush tool, and we decide in using black paint, we uh, paint out the texture, you can see that suddenly it's changing this quite a bit. And if we do the same thing to our baking dish texture, it's removing that texture from our skin. Now, the thing is, is that our exposure is not actually being changed a huge amount by these textures, but sometimes you'll find if you have a texture that's very, very bright in the middle, it's actually brightening your image a little bit. So if I go back and remove those two layer masks, let's see if I can really quickly just give us a look at what that would do. All right, so we're really affecting so what I did is I just did it, uh, a curves adjustment on this layer right here. Um, here's a before, here's an after. And so now what's going on is because there's so much brightness in this texture, that brightness is actually being applied down to this base image right here. And so if you were going to use that layer mask, then what happens is, is as you paint out the texture, you're actually losing that uh, exposure adjustment as well. And again, this image, it doesn't seem to make a huge difference, but if you were working on an image where it did make a big difference to see the brush stroke here taking away um, an exposure adjustment and leaving it over here, then working in a layer adjustment is not going to be your best bet. So I'm going to just go back to my history change that out. I'm actually gonna show you a little trick right now that I learned from another awesome mentor that gives you the ability to get rid of texture without painting it out in a layer mask. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is create a new image really quickly. And we can just do this at 500 by 500. It doesn't really matter. And we're gonna to wanna to fill this with what's called 50% gray. So I'm gonna do new layer, go to soft light, fill with 50% neutral color, hit okay. All right, so now we've got a completely neutral gray. And if we go up to edit and then define pattern, and we're gonna call this neutral and we can close this out all right so now what you've done is you've created a neutral pattern that your healing brush can utilize 
And the great thing about that is when you paint the neutral gray over the parts of the area that you don't want texture applied, you're still going to get that same exposure applied, but you're not gonna get the texture. So let's zoom in so we can really see what's going on. Bring it up to 50 here. All right, so I'm just gonna bring my brush down a little bit to show you what it looks like when we do this on the model's face. So again, I've got that healing brush. I've gone in and I'm selecting this new neutral pattern that we've created. Um, you can see I've named it neutral. These are the default ones that are uh, in Photoshop. So we wanna make sure that we've loaded in that new pattern that we've created. You go in and you paint this area. Now what it looks like initially is that I'm deleting the the texture, but that's not actually what's happening. So as you can see, it's kind of doing its thing, it's stitching stuff together. And now what we've done is we've got that exposure applied, but we don't have the texture. So I'm gonna show you on the arm now. You can see there's some scratches and stuff. Some of that is due to the uh, baking dish texture. And we'll go in and edit that too. So in order to do the same thing on the baking dish, we gotta click on that layer in order to edit and just go in and paint that neutral healing again. And now you can see if we turn off both of these, the texture itself is not being applied to those areas, but the exposure value is. So we're gonna just go in here on the baking dish and get rid of some of that texture as well. And so this is a really great way that you can get texture out of skin, clothing, areas that you maybe don't necessarily wanna have it applied, um, but still have it look like it's part of the overall image. So I'm just gonna zoom out really quickly here and show you kind of our before and after. So this is where we are now. And this is where we've started. And so that texture just kind of gives you a nice painterly feel again. You can layer texture on top of texture on top of texture to create a fun recipe. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about recipes in the future. So that pretty much wraps it up. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop me a line either on my website, jenkiabaphotography.com, or visit me on my Facebook page, which is Jen Kiaba Photography. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought. If you have any additional questions, I would love to hear from you. And like I said, you know, don't worry, we're gonna go more in depth into Photoshop in other tutorials, but hearing from you will um, help dictate what it is that I focus on. So don't hesitate to reach out. Hey, would you like to have the texture pack that you saw me working with for this tutorial? Well, jump on my newsletter. You'll get it as a free download immediately, as well as weekly tutorials, other Photoshop goodies, and just general awesome discussion about being an artist. So sign up now and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks, bye.